Welcome back. Still to come, the woman who says she can save our sex lives with just a few simple exercises. She shares her secrets at midday. Time now to tone up our sex lives and personal trainer Jenny Russell has received so many complaints from her clients and friends that after childbirth they don't have quite as much feeling during sex as they previously had. So she has developed a workout designed to tone up and tighten the pelvic floor area and she's here now to let us in on her secrets. Jenny, welcome. Now lots of us are given the exercises after childbirth. We, we go to exercise classes, we understand the clenching and lifting, but this has gone a bit beyond that you say? Yes, it has. Yeah. Well, basically, you've got two muscle groups that are tied together. The lower abdominals are linked in with the pelvic floor, so they work on the same loop, like the same fire wire from the brain. Yeah. So unless you actually have the lower abdominals activated, you never have the full function from the pelvic floor. And what's it going to do for us if we do tighten up and get everything well, as, as good as it could be? As good as it could be, yeah. If you leave the sex bit to last, the lower abdominals and pelvic floor have major roles to play. So I'm kind of focusing on what the muscles do as, a, as their, their function or their job. Yep. Um, the pelvic floor, if you imagine it's a sling, the levator ani, it's a sling here, and the bladder bowel, and in women, the uterus, sits on this sling, and yep. it's also responsible for the whole of the abdominal area. Yes. So you've got to think that this sling here has to here support all these picture. muscles. Yeah? yeah. The yellow so there, yeah? shading is the pelvic floor. Yeah. Yep. So um, basically, all those organs and the abdominal structure sit on that pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. So if it's not conditioned and strong, it can't do its job of support properly. And the lower abdominals also help to buffer the excess load that falls onto the pelvic floor and also right. stabilizes the low back. And then let's activate it because this is what you want us to do. Yeah. I Hang mean, on, here we go. Well, when it's activated, the pelvic floor closes, as you see, and it elevates. And a good way of actually sensing that, you can just try that, is actually to put your thumb in your mouth and suck it. Yes. So many people that can't feel that, if they actually suck the thumb quite hard, mm -hmm. you'll feel the pelvic floor elevate. Yeah. Um, yeah, that happens in women and men. So that's strange. the action you well, have. Yes. It's quite a strange one, isn't it? Just like yeah. the thumb. Yeah. So that's the action you want. And then obviously the byproduct of that conditioned floor is an improved sex life. And the Bladder ability to yeah, the ability to else. offset incontinence. Mm, very good. The idea, the thing that set you off on uh, on, on this was a, was a, a male friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen years ago. It's just something he just said to me in passing, you know, after his fiance had the second baby, the experience was just like, you know, being in the middle of nowhere, really. So it was then when I thought to myself, sorry, it does sound no, funny. Fair but I thought to myself, wow, Dipping I never... Dipping his wick in a well. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what yeah, that's what he, yeah, yeah, that's what he said, that's the terminology he used. That's what he said. That's yeah, what fair he enough, said. Yeah. But I actually then thought to myself, wow, can that really happen? Because I suppose until we, he said that to me, no one focuses on it. Because we, mm. fo we just focus on what we look like mm -hmm. and what's outside, you know? Um, so I decided, we named ourselves, me and my friends, we decided that, you know, after childbirth, we'd bring ourselves back down to what we call the pinhead posse. You know, so pinhead <laughs> posse. Pinhead posse is the other side of that. Right, rather than the black wall tunnel. Yeah, that's my girls. little terminology I have. Yeah. Right, OK. So, um, so let's have a look at the exercises, because okay. it's not just this No, the lower abdominals are very important, so that's yeah. what I've put in the book first. You learn to do the lower abdominal exercises oh, yes, first. The yes, can, can a vagina really buy a Mercedes is, uh, is the name of the, of the book, although I think it's bought you a Bentley, hasn't it? <laughs> it's bought Sunita a Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sunita go. is a client, you see, and Sunita's yeah. got a Bentley. Sunita's got so, a Bentley. So, so uh, yes, the premise of that, then, is that if, you can, if you're brilliant enough for your bloke, he'll buy you a Mercedes. Say it is. Yeah, that's one of the byproducts. Uh, yeah, well, let's not but talk about that. Anyway, let's have a look at these exercises. The first thing we need to do is learn how to set our lower abdominals. Now, that first movement there is a wrong way to breathe. When you breathe in, the tummy expands. When you breathe out, the belly button is drawn in towards the spine. The shoulders and the chest remain relaxed. Right, so that's the first one. So you yeah, breathe so in, let the your tummy come out. out. Yeah. Breathe, uh, no, that's right, breathe, is it that's breathe right. out and, breathe out and, and draw the cool belly button the tummy in. button in? Yeah. Okay. So I call it man at the bar breath, because normally when you're out, you see a nice man, you sort of go, he's nice. Or okay. if a guy's walking across the beach, he does this movement here. Okay. But that's the wrong way to breathe. When we were born, we all, all breathed diaphragmatically as babies. So if you take air in, the lungs, the lungs naturally expand mm. and elevate. So you've got to let this remain relaxed and this draw out and not right. worry about aesthetically how you look but just set the abdominal wall okay, so you can do so its job. Okay, so that's the starting point. Then mm. we move on to, let's have a look at this. Lower abs, I think. So a lower abdominal exercise here, we can place the hands behind the low back and set the belly button by breathing in and out or use a blood pressure cuff which allows us to see just how stable the back is. Yeah? So we stabilise the back, the lower abs and then we move the legs and work the lower abdominals. 
So people who've done Pilates will recognise these. They'll recognise that as well, yeah. yeah. But the blood pressure cuff is quite nice, I use it with my client, because they can actually see by the movement of the needle just how stable their back is. I couldn't quite see where the cuff was there. Is it? I placed it right behind my belly button in the low so back. So the pressure of and your back on the floor. What I'd done, I pumped it to 40 millimoles and it acts as a cushion between the back and the, and the mat and then I tilt the pelvis so I close that gap. You have the natural curve in the yeah, back, yeah. it's kind of closed off. And the lower abdominals, when they're working properly and they're activated, they stabilise the trunk mm. and allow the limbs to move. There won't be many people who've got access to, to, no, to something like No, but if you like use that. a finger, if you can do that with your fingertips, you bring your hands, run it like a belt right round here. Uh -huh. and place it behind oh. and what you do is you place you tilt the pelvis back oh. and place some pressure on your fingers then all you're trying to do when you move the limbs you're keeping the pressure constant so you can identify Keep it on your fingers. Yes. that the pressure on the, on the fingers never changes yes. it doesn't increase so or all decrease. of that core strength so is, you know that you know on. that's stable if, yeah. you, if you've got movement then you know you're not stable oh okay part three <laughs> it's bad, <isn't> it? mm. <laughs> Okay, so this last one here is just really about disassociating the lower body from the upper body. So we've got the belly button drawn in and we're literally just moving through the hips side to side, forward and back or doing a full circle. But you maintain your postural alignment, you keep the belly button drawn in and it's a wonderful workout for the lower abdominals, the waistline and also it draws in and up on the pelvic floor. So you're just doing circles one way circles the other, figures yeah. of eight, whatever. I'm just basically keeping the upper body still and just moving from below the waistline. Mm. And it's working everything inside? It works everything. It works the lower abdominals, pelvic floor. So I can see that this is helping a man with, with sex because now he's getting a lot more feeling. Uh, but for the woman, is it, is it improving the it sensation improves, uh, for her? Yeah. It improves the orgasms in the end. Really? Hey, see, now we're on the nitty gritty. <laughs> How does it do that? Well, the increase, once you've te strengthened the pelvic floor and the lower abdominals, your ability to close, draw and pull in is oh, increased. Excellent. See, so therefore... Okay. Better have well, a look at the last... Uh, oh, we've got another one. Oh, is that no, it? No, they oh, were done. Was it three so like, here we go. I was in for the afternoon then. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> here it is, a dear little book. It's eight ninety nine. It's called Can of Vagina, really by a Mercedes, and it's by Jenny Russell. Jenny, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. A must for any female wishing to improve. Can I just mention something very quickly? Next month, on the 8th of July, there's a, a, a um, charity, Wellbeing of Women, WOW. Yes. They've actually got an all-day seminar on the 8th of July, and they're actually focusing on incontinence and exercise. Brilliant. So, yes. Oh, we put that on the website. Yes. Yeah, yeah, on the website. The incontinence is, is a vital issue as well. Very. Thank very you important. very much indeed, Jenny. Thank now, you. if you would like any more information, you know where to look. The website, itv.com slash this morning. You haven't got access to the website. I'm really sorry. We're uh, taking Get a break it. now. Still to come, some of the uh, the funny films that you've been sending us uh, by email, plus also Rona Keating performs live. So we're back soon.